In this video, let's take a look at the text input component in React Native. The text input component is a fundamental building block for user input in React Native. It allows users to enter text and other data into your application. Let's understand this better with code. I'm going to start by making some changes in app.js. Remove the status bar import from Expo and instead import the same from React Native. Let's try to stick with vanilla React Native until we come across the section on Expo SDK. Next, replace the view component with safe area view. This will handle padding at the top in iOS. For Android, let's add padding equal to the status bar height. So in the container styles, padding top, status bar dot current height. Let's also remove the alignment properties on the container as they affect how the text input will be placed. Finally, delete the JSX within safe area view. All right, we are now ready for our text input. Begin by importing it from React Native. Invoke the component within safe area view. If we now save the file and take a look at our devices, we don't really see the text input component. Well, the thing is, the component does exist on the screen. The styling is such that you don't really see it. If I try to click on the input, you can see we have the cursor. Let's go back to VS Code and add some styles to fix this. Let's call the key input and add a height of 40 pixels, margin, padding, and border width. Let's assign this to the style prop on the component. Style is equal to styles.input. If we now take a look at the UI, we can clearly see the text input component. We can focus on the input and start typing. If we focus the input on the Android device, you can see it brings up the keyboard. You can continue to type or use the keyboard. Both work fine. For iOS, if you want a similar keyboard, you need to press Command Shift K. And this will bring up the keyboard and you can press different keys. Press Command Shift K again and the keyboard disappears. The value we've entered though isn't being tracked. To track the input value, we can make use of a state variable similar to how we do it in React. Let's import use state from React and create a state variable. Name. The function is set name and the initial value is an empty string. We can assign name to the value prop on the text input and assign set name function to the on change text prop of the text input component. This will automatically update the state variable when you start typing the text in the input box. Let's add some text to make sure we are tracking the input value. So text, my name is, followed by the name state variable. And let's also add some styles to make it clear. Style is equal to styles.text. Let's define text where we set font size to 30 and padding to 10. If we now head back to the devices and start typing, you can see the same value is reflected in the text component below. In summary, the text input component is a tool for inputting text into the app via a keyboard. You can import it from React Native library and invoke it with the value and on change text prop to manage its state. Join me in the next video 
where we will learn about some of the important props supported by the text input component. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.